Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we'll see how to easily create a cool glitch photo template that you can use whenever you want on whatever picture you want using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop. And then I will go to file to create a new document. And let's assume that we are going to use this template in Instagram. So we'll put 1080 pixel in the width and 1080 pixel in the height. And of course you can choose whatever width and height you want, but I think this resolution it will work perfectly for Instagram posts. And in the resolution I will just keep it 72 and RGB in the current mode. And hope it's okay. Alright, next we need to change this to a smart object. So I will unlock it first by double click on it and I will name it main image and I hope it's okay. Next I will right click and choose convert to smart object. Now we need to edit this smart object so we can either just double click on this one here so we'll open a new tab or you can just right click and choose edit content. And as you can see this will open a new tab. Now I will go ahead and place the image I will be using so I will take it and open it in here. And then I will resize it so it will fit with this canvas. So I'm gonna press shift alt on my keyboard and I will make it bigger so it will fit just right here. And then I will one click on this check mark to commit the change. Next, we need to save this change to the smart object. So I will just close this tab and as you can see Photoshop will let me know that I made changes and now I can decide whether I want to save these changes or not. So I will press yes, so we'll save it. And as you can see, uh, it will open in the smart objects in here. All right, now I'm gonna make two copies of this. So I'm gonna press Control J two times, one, two, and then I will name this one to glitch one, and I will name the second copy glitch two. And then I will take this main image and I will put it above these two in here, and I will hide this for now. This will work just a gate to our smart object so we can double click on it and edit it later all right now we'll select this glitch to layer and i will make it invisible by one click on this eye icon and i will go to the glitch one layer all right so the first thing that we are going to apply is a noise filter so we'll go to filter noise and i will choose add noise and i will put seven percent in the amount in here uniform in the distribution and monochromatic is checked and of course you can change it to whatever you want and hope it's okay and as you can see because it's a smart object i can always go back and edit this noise by double click on it right here and as you can see i can change the values if i want but i just keep it like this and hope it's okay all right so the next filter that we are going to add is a wave filter so i will go to filter again distort and i will choose waves in here and for the waves in here we're not gonna use a really big waves settings so i want just to apply a slightest breaks into the middle of the image so first i'm gonna change the type to square and then i will bring down the number of generators to one and in the wavelength i'm gonna put the maximum to the max which is 999 and then i will just play with the minimum a little bit so around 600 to 700 it will work fine so we'll keep it 632 and then i will go directly to the scaling in here because if we mess with the amplitude it won't look that good so we'll start with the vertical i'm gonna put one percent and then i will go to the horizontal and i will put around seven to ten uh, percent in here so i'm gonna choose eight or nine so let's keep it nine and then I can mess with the amplitude, so I'm gonna change the max that's around 350 or 340 just like that and then I will change the maximum to around 160 or 70 as you can see we can always preview what's going on in here so I will just keep it like this and I'm pretty happy with the result in here and also you can you know double click on this randomize button so you will get different results as you can see in the preview in here I think I will keep it like this 
and the is okay and you can see we didn't do a crazy change to the image we only applied these two breaks in here and that's what we want all right now we're gonna add another wave filter so i will go again to filter distort and i will choose wave and i will keep everything the same for the type and the number of generators but i'm gonna change the wavelength so i will keep the maximum set to 900 but i'm gonna change the minimum just a slight change so i'm gonna put 600 and then i will go to the amplitude i think i will put up the maximum a little bit and again i just want a slight change so just gonna increase the values a little bit so i will get a little bit of change so i think around 550 and i will put down the minimum a little bit and i will keep the scanning the same and also we can randomize the results in here i think this will looks good and hope is okay and you can see now we have this second break in here and that's what we want all right so we're done with the glitch one layer and as you can see this is really easy setting to do so anyone can do this so i will go and select the glitch to layer and i will make it visible and then i will apply the same uh, noise filter too so we go to filter noise and i will choose add noise and i will keep the same so it will match the other one and I hope it's okay next i will go to filter and this time i'm gonna choose liquify and for the liquify in here i will be using is this push left tool in here so we want to make some damage to the image in here as you can see if i one click and drag like this it will give us this kind of glitches in here and for the brush tool options in here i'm using is 100 percent in the pressure and 100 percent in the density and for the size you can choose whatever size you want all right so we'll add another one in here no, i think this will looks good and hope it's okay all right so as you can see we damage the picture now i'm gonna apply the blending option so i will make sure that i'm selecting this glitch to layer and then i will go to this fx icon and i will choose blending options next i will just turn off one of the channels in here so i'm gonna turn off the red channel and as you can see this will create this rgb splitting which is looks really good and i hope it's okay all right so after that i will go to filter again and this time i'm gonna choose filter gallery and in this sketch folder just open it and choose halftone pattern in here and for the size i will put it down to one and then i will bring down the contrast to around 10 and i hope it's okay and you can see this will give it this really cool look but I will change the blending mode of this halftone by double click on this layer of options in here as you can see if I double click on it right here the blending option of the filter gallery will open and then I will change the blending mode of it to overlay all right and hope is okay now I will bring down the opacity of this whole layer to 50% and as you can see this will give it this cool retro look to the image all right so we're almost done now we'll go to adjustment and I will choose hue saturation and then we'll bring down the saturation a little bit to around minus 24 or 25 and then I will go to adjustment again and I will choose exposure all right in the offset I will put it up to around plus 0, 0 250 and I will bring down the gamma correction just around 0, 084 all right as you can see this will add this really dramatic effect to it it looks really vintage and really cool now it's time to apply the same glitch to other pictures so we'll double click on this main image in here and as you can see this will open in a new tab and next i can go ahead and paste another image i will be using this one in here so i will take it and open it in the same uh, file in here and i will make it bigger so it will fit just like this and then i will one click on this check mark to commit the change now again i will close it to save the changes and i will wait for it to process and there we go we have the same 
glitch effect applied to, to this one too and also you can always go back and change the wave settings in here if you don't like this one you can just double click on these waves and press ok and you know just double click on the randomize button a few times until you see what you like and press ok and you can do the same for the other wave in here you know just randomize it as much as you want and press ok and there we go we have a new glitch apply to this image all right now the last thing that we are going to do is to save this psc so we can use it later so we'll go to file and i will choose save as and you know choose a folder where you want to save it and give it a name so we'll name it 1080 glitch template so we'll remember and we'll press save and okay and now we'll have it wherever we want to use it to apply this glitch to other images and that will be all so i hope that you enjoyed and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know show me out on instagram if you try this effect and have a nice day thank you for watching Bye.